Hello guys, this is the uh, final result from creating the penguin uh, from the image reference. So if you like uh, the design, you can uh, download the image reference in the video description to follow my tutorial. So have fun! Okay, I start by uh, drop the image to free card. I go to uh, view to go the access course and I click on the image transform it 90 degree here type in here 90 rotate it face into the front and put it back a little bit I go to the front view and I move the image up because I want to model the, the big one so I move the image to the left somewhere around here I click OK now I go to the drag weapon and I start creating line I build a grid for you to see now I go up to the utility select plane uh, this is the walking plane so I want to walk on the front so I click on the front Yeah. Now I can start uh, creating light. I go come up here, create light, and uh, make sure you check the continue because we want to uh, uh, create multiple light. I start at the bottom. I click on this edge and hit shift. Move over here. I click on this one. This edge here. We have the first the first line the next one and uh, maybe I come up here from here to here we have the second line come up here from here to here right and up here from here to here the next will be from here to here And this area, I want from here to here. At the top, I want to put one, two, and the last one, I want to put, uh, let's see, I want to put another line here. And the last one I want to, to put a, a point. So I go up here, I find a point. This one, click on it, and I say that, and I click on this one, and I have one point over here. I close that. Now we have multiple lines. Next, we will create a circle. We will create a circle uh, to use. Uh, using the loft tool in the Pratt workbench to create the, this shape. I hide the grid. Now I want to create a circle based on the top plane. So uh, I come up to utility, select plane, and I choose the top, the top one. Now I click on the circle tool and make sure you uncheck the fill option and check the continue and also we want to snap it midpoint and snap the end point make sure you turn it on right uh, let's see if you move your mouse over you can this line you can see uh, we have uh, uh, a white dot. This is the mid, uh, the midpoint of this line. You click on it to create the to to place the center of the circle, and you move uh, your mouse over to this point. You click on it, and you have the first circle. 
doing the same up here we have the second circle the third continue doing that okay up here you can see if you click on the middle and draw over here you can see the the circle is some replacing like this it's not what we want we want the circle to uh, rotate in this angle right so instead of creating it in the uh, the top plan I close this one I delete the circle and I want to create it in the front first and I will rotate it a 90 degree later to do that I go up to utility select plan and I want to uh, draw a circle in the front plane I click on this one front right let me show the grid for you to easy to see now I will create continue to create circle middle put it here we have the first one right and uh, doing the same here okay I close that you can see we have circle look like this I want to rotate the circle 90 degree based on this axis to do that I select in this one the circle I go down to the data in placement uh, axis axis here is the uh, the rotation axis right now uh, is a 90 degree in the x axis is 1 now I type in here 0 you can see um, uh, now the circle is now uh, facing like this is what uh, is that is not exactly what we want but close now I come down here in the x axis now the next thing we need to do is I want to rotate it in the y axis the y axis is the green one here over here you can see this is the y axis and I want to rotate it in the y axis so that I type in here 0 because this one is s I don't want that close 0 that out and in the y I hit 1 I want to choose this axis the angle you can click on it and click on it and you uh, just hold hold your mouth you can see it rotate to the angle that we want somewhere around here is good we have something like this this is what we want I continue doing this um, up here so like this one and I zero this one out zero this one out and change this one to one and for the angle I drop it down somewhere around here will be good this one doing the same zero this one one this one zero this one and uh, continue to put it put it down yeah something like this same here just to roll it out and th this one will be one this one will be zero first and put it something like this okay now I have a lot of circle here 
Now I will hide on the lights because I don't need it anymore. I also hide the grid. The next thing I need to do is I use the uh, the laugh tool in the part workbench to generate the shell face. To do that, I go to the part workbench and I click on laugh. Over here, I will start from the circle. Circle one, two, three. Continue. Put it to the right. And the last one will be the point. Let's see if it's okay for that. So you can see we uh, have a problem here. Uh, that is because uh, maybe we uh, we need to put another circle. I go to the wireframe. We need to put a circle maybe in this area. To add the, you can see over here is a bit more curve over here. I will try that. I will add uh, another circle in between. I will delete this lock here. I go back to the flat line and also go to the drop of hand. I uh, go make sure you select nothing. Then you go up to utility, select plan, and choose in the front. Now I create a line from here, shift, and click on here. I close that. Now I go up to utility again, select plan, and choose in the top plan. Now I create a circle. I close that. You can see the circle right now is a circle zero zero nine. So when we select, we select the first one will be the circle, and the next will be the circle zero zero nine, and two three and uh, one two three four. Right. I go to the uh, plot point. Again, go to the loft, start with a circle, next will be circle zero zero nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one will be the point. I okay, that and it worked. The next thing we need to do is we will select in this one and we go down to the solid. I have two. You can see it close this area. Now I will uh, hide in all of the uh, circle and points here. The next thing I need to do is I want to create the uh, uh, this area over here, this curve like this. I go to the front view and go to the sketcher. I create a new sketch on the front view. And I, I go to the wireframe. I drop the menu over here. I start to choose the freehand display. And I start from maybe here. Tracing the uh, line. Close that. I close that and I have the color of this. I 
Maybe I should adjust this area a little bit and the break in it. Make it a little bit more smooth over here. Close that. Okay. Now I will use the in the prod reference, I will extrude this run. I show the uh, flat line here. I select in the sketch and I extrude it. Something big like a 100 symmetric. Okay. And I call this one the uh, right quick, call this one the cutter. And I select the, the loft. Can touch that in the cutter and go up to the prod slip and slide a prod. We have slip it into two pieces. Now I will click on this first piece and hide it. And I will select in this line and I will try to fillet it something like a 0.5. Something like this. And I show the uh, second one and hide this one. So that in this line, and I fill it. it. Zero point five. Okay. I hide this line and I show the fill that here, right? Next, I will select in this one and hit Ctrl D and set some color to it. Pick screen color and pick this one. Okay. And select this one and choose color up here. Something like this. Next, I will call this one and uh, I will select this one and this one and go up to the part. Compile and make compile. I have now the compile. I go to the pro the drop of pens. I want to copy it. I select in the compile and I go up to the contour over here. Or you can use in the hotkey C and L to create a clone of it. Click on it, and you have another clone over here. I will transform it a little bit. I go. Try to click to transform it over here. You can see, move it over here, and I will rotate it. I type in here like uh, 45. I rotate it something like this, and maybe I scale it down a little bit. I select in this clone and go down to the data. Scale and type in here 0 0.9, 0 sorry, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and 0.8. Maybe shorter, 0 0.7. Uh, Something like this, and also I rotate it a little bit. A smaller number like uh, five by degree. That's something like this.